beautiful day in Africa, ready to do some good things. As usual. Let's go. I can't associate with y'all the shit like ketamine. Been on one, been on two, been on everything. Today the goal was very simple. We are in Uganda, Kampala. Beautiful place, lovely people, amazing experience. We heard about a lady that was very interesting. And apparently this lady has about 36 children. Yes, fellas, you heard me right. 36 children of her own. So some people talk about 36 and some people talk about 44 children. We had to find out the truth. And from what we heard, she stayed about an hour outside the capital of Uganda, Kampala. It's very hot. As usual, real Africa, not playing very, very hard today. I don't know what's the temperature. So we just went to get some cash because in the rest of Africa, it's cash. Everything functions with cash. People want cash. They don't care about your card. In some places, people don't even use card. So you need to have cash in it. Went to the first ATM. Uh, it's out of order, not functioning. We're going to the next one. Hopefully it's working. So you go to Africa, you want to be in Africa, you need to have cash in hand. Uh, unless you're going to South Africa, but if you're going for the rest of Africa, you gotta have cash. No cash, no business. Great stuff, let's go. Okay, whoa. Look, they can never keep me down, I'm going and if I ever... So this is Kampala Gala. It's a very busy area of Kampala. A lot of businesses, lots of bars, lots of people. You, you actually find the diversity of people. Uh, Ugandans, Ethiopians, Somalians, and who else? Sudanese, many, many people from Africa that have come to this country, they live here, they do business, you know, they, they live in peace. It's just very interesting to see. Most of the restaurants here belong to Ethiopians. So they're very good with restaurants. Let's go. We're going to the Standard Bank. Hey, how are you, man? Yeah, you too. Hey, my man. Ah, How are you now? Good, good, good to see you. Good to see you. Say I'm Make I live my life and do. Dude, the day was very hot. From me, bad vibes. Men body, they set up, set up for much enjoyment. Men body, they ready. Ready for celebration, waiting the one who them go quench. Them go quench. Okay, so now we need to go get a microphone. As you can see, I'm using this cell phone as a microphone, and that's not the best option. Uh, we need to go find a microphone that's appropriate. And for that, I believe we need to go to, where do we need to go? Downtown. So we need to go downtown Kampala to go get a microphone. And from what I heard, it's crazy down there. But I'm taking you with, so let's go. She said that she hate me, I hate me too. I can always tell when you're lying, girl, you're see through. All these miles away, yeah, I just wanna see you. Baby, give me good faith, she hit me like seafood. Okay, so we have no more petrol, no more fuel. We need to fill up a little bit. Obviously, that lady was tired. Look at her, push the other guy, go do it. I'm not getting out of here. She's seated right there, exhausted. I understand, it's very hot. Very hot day. And I don't even know how to answer. I say this just to my bladder. She she After filling up the tank, we were ready for our adventure. Our destination was very clear. Go downtown Kampala and find a microphone for the camera. That man right there, his name is Nathan. He's our driver. Very interesting dude. We're gonna find out some more about him later. Let's go. It's always good to see an African country move forward. I remember from the last time I was in Kampala, uh, things weren't this well at all. Most of the road were quite reddish. Not very good look. But you can see, the government is definitely doing something very positive. Props to that. Now, those motorbikes, as you see, are usual practice in Kampala. They called Boda Boda. And Boda Bodas are very interesting human beings. I'm not going to talk about them today, though. So, 
it's a mean of transportation that's very quick it allows you to actually beat traffic very quickly very effective but don't mess with them because they don't play they don't play at all I'm so, depressed and I don't so first thing first this was the very first spot we thought we could find a microphone for the camera however there are rules here very strange rules though you cannot use your camera to film into public space now fellas let me give you context in africa when they see you look good the price goes up so the price of items in most places actually depend on how good you look if you look good the price doubles if you don't look good they're probably going to tell you the right price and also if you look like a foreigner the price will probably double or triple and trust me ugandans can look at you and say this guy is not from here and i was one of them so we decided to send oliver oliver's got the camera Oliver's a Congolese guy who's been living in Uganda for a long time. So basically, he looks just like a Ugandan. Absolutely. He speaks Uganda very fluently and has incorporated the culture. So it's very difficult to tell that he's from another country. We sent Oliver to go discuss the price because he's most likely going to get the right price. So the first spot don't have a microphone. They have no microphone. They're out of stock. So now we have to find another place where we can buy a microphone. Welcome downtown Kampala. This is Kampala, an extremely busy place filled with lots of people. As you can see, everybody's trying to hustle, trying to make some money. One of the different lanes of Africa that most have never seen in the past. Lots of people. Did you see my dance move right there? <laughs> I can dance. This is downtown, you find malls, shops, businesses, entrepreneurs, vendors, everything you're looking for, it's right here. Even if you're looking for a tire of an aeroplane, you're probably gonna find it here. Now, that girl right there on the left, do you see her? Look at her hair, that natural African hair. It's beautiful, you don't see it very much because a lot of our sisters just like fake hair. And I'm sorry if you're one of them, it's okay, we like it too, but we prefer this one. She was stunned because clearly uh, a random guy is saying beautiful hair. And watch, watch what's going to happen. You could clearly see she didn't know how to react. She was smirking and smiling. And her friend was even smiling larger than her. Obviously she was scanning me to see, is he, is he worth it? <laughs> now they're probably talking to each other. Like, Are you gonna talk to him? Are you gonna wait? No, you, you make the first move. Look at her, she's looking again. Look at that. And I said goodbye. And now she wanted to talk to me. She called me back. Hi, can I please get your number? She said. Fellas, I didn't expect that at all. I just wanted to say compliment. That's it. Encourage people to wear their natural hair. I gave her a fake number. Sorry, people. Sorry. Before we get there, same procedure. We found a place where we could buy a microphone. But I couldn't go first because the price was going to double. Therefore, once more, we send Oliver. Oliver has closed the deal. Now we can go and you know, they've agreed. So she can't change the price anymore. Let's go. She's not happy. She's not happy at all. Yeah, she was not happy, not impressed. Fellas, Kampala people are big hustlers. Look at that man right there trying to make some money. Mm. I was just very impressed with the variety of words that he used to try to get me to buy his stuff. Interesting. You have my size. How much is this? How much is this? One hundred. One one? One hundred. One hundred thousand? Yes. Maybe we're buying it. Very nice. No, it's for myself, but you don't have my size. I have. Wow. 
So fellas, I was very hungry and just think about it, the place was extremely hot. And trust me, I hate being hungry. Some of the things that I really hate is being cold and being hungry. You're gonna have a very bad version of me. So we made a quick stop in Kampala Road to buy some food, some quick, dirty food. Buy myself some food, baby. So we found this big mall with multiple different restaurants, a lot of fast food. You could actually choose from what you wanted. Do you want beef? You want chicken? You want wraps? Whatever. Really beautiful to see. So I made the choice very quickly. Because I don't eat any red meat, I went straight for the chicken. That was great. Do you have double chicken burger? Double chicken burger. Yeah. Take away. Take away, please. It comes with chips, right? So I got some food, well, I wanted to eat by myself, but all these guys were around me were just looking. So I said, let me get food for everybody then. I know, I know, I, I'm very selfish like that. I bought a lot of food for everybody, got food, got drinks and juice, and we were ready to roll. Okay, so right now we are in Kampala Road. We're leaving now for Bukon, Bukon or whatever. We still needed to buy a couple of things. I'm gonna send you a pin as soon as we get there, okay? Or you can start eating there already. The person I'm talking to is Patricia. She's a local girl, a Ugandan girl. Is marriage not something that's important to you as an African Patricia woman? Patricia or? Yeah, you, you, you. As For me, no. It's I not important. So. No. We felt that it was going to be a very good thing to ever with her. Just because she understands the lingo and she's from here, after all. That would definitely make things much easier for us. So we were heading to Mukono. This is where leaves this lady with 44, 36 children. And it's a long distance from Kampala. Sweating in Kampala. <laughs> and as we were moving, I was chewing, fellas. What a great feeling. On our way to Mukono, extremely busy road, but we had to keep moving. The goal was to get there before sunset. It was very important that we discuss with this lady while it was still light. Or else we would have been defeating the purpose. I wanted to find out, like, how do you do to get so many kids? What, what happens? <laughs> you know, I had a lot of questions I needed to understand. Remember the lady we spoke about earlier, the Ugandan lady? Well, we had to wait for her because she was coming behind us. We were going to get lost and lose each other at this time was not a very good thing. So we decided to stop at a gas station. So we are waiting for Patricia. Patricia is Ugandan. Um, we figured that it would be better that we go with any Ugandan person since it's a brand new terrain, you don't quite know everything. Uh, visiting this lady means you need to bring her something. You're not just going to go visit somebody and interview and, you know, have a talk for free, not in Africa. You need to bring something. It's either money or things. So she suggested that we brought things. So I felt like it would be much better instead of, you know, going by ourselves to bring her along. I think she understands the lingo. She understands the mentality and obviously in Africa as well once they see somebody that belongs to the country they tend to treat you nicer uh, in terms of prices yeah if they see you you sound like you're from another place uh, the prices go up double triple the price so you don't want that right now and we're waiting for her we've been waiting for about 30 minutes now and we send her a pin to find us where we are and we're still waiting Hopefully she's going to be here very, very quickly. Okay. Yeah. 
And finally, the lady we were waiting for was here, Patricia. Yes, after many minutes of being late, but eventually she's here. So we're glad because we know that things are going to be easier forward. Patricia's here. Uh, at last. We've been waiting for a while. It is 16.30. So 4.30 p.m. We need to rush to this lady's house and speak to them. Apparently, we need to talk to them first before we do anything. Like, I would have gone to the market, buy a few things, buy some food, buy some groceries for her first. But apparently, that's not how it happens anymore because way too many people go see her and some abuse. So we need to go see her first, get some of an authorization before we proceed into doing anything. She's not going to talk to us for free. And I can understand that. Okay, so we're on our way. Uh, we're fighting against time right now. It's 4.30. But let's go. Patricia, we've been waiting for you for hours. Why are you late? Um, because of the jam, there's so much jam. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many cars. Like you need to, you need to show the cars. There are so many. Yeah. Yeah. You so. must show the cars, right? Yeah, show that. So that's why you. I'm late. not. I'm never late. You know, I'm never late. You're never late. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. So, um, what do you know about this lady? They say she has 36 children. Is this no. true? What do you know about her? I actually don't know much about her. I'm excited to go and see her, see what her story is like. Cause I know I can't imagine what it's like having 36 children because. The people I know who have one child mm -hmm. are crying. So, 36 mm -hmm. without a like a proper job, like formal employment. That's yeah. that's hard to be. That's has to be really really Must hard. Must be very very difficult. Yeah. Um. At the same time, I blame her because of her ignorance and lack of family planning. Okay. But that's something that you can I can only say as yeah. <laughs> as a woman and as an educated woman. Okay. Yeah. You don't think she, she she's happy to have 36 children around? No, you know, in, in the future when they grow up, they can in, help. In, in Uganda, in yeah. in Uganda, they yeah. say mm -hmm. it means uh, uh, it means giving birth to children is a joy, like okay. it's a pleasure. Yes, that that you enjoy yes. far ahead into the future. Now, right now, she's not enjoying. She's definitely not, enjoying. not. If she was enjoying, mm -hmm. her story would be far different. Because there's a similar family in India yeah. where the guy has, he has so many children. I'll remember to send you the link. Mm -hmm. But they have like a, an apartment block and they all live there. The children, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. So and they're all happy? Yeah, they seem happy because in the video I watched, but you can't tell. Okay. Yeah, happiness is not a, a, a yardstick for prosperity, no. so we should note that. You don't but think uh, it's an investment for this lady for the future? But you can't guarantee that your children are going to be successful, particularly when you've been raised in poverty. Your chances of breaking the poverty ceiling are very, very low. And that's a fact. Yeah. All right. So, great. Looks very interesting. We're going to go and see and find out for ourselves and see how happy this lady is. None of us really knew the address of this beautiful lady we were looking for. So the best thing to do, the best bet at least, was to ask two border border drivers because they know a lot of things. Ask him if he takes us. Ask him if he can take us. So the deal was crazy. We just couldn't accept that. And the man wanted money, but to take us halfway. No, we're not going to do that. And then we found another border border guy, and this man looked a lot more mature. Look like a family father. And the conversation felt more equitable. And we were on our road following the older man, the Buddha Buddha driver. Uh, to be honest with you, that was my very first time to see a Buddha Buddha driver with so much maturity. No shade, fellas. The man looked like somebody's father, like somebody's big brother. He was riding ahead on his motorbike and we were following. If I was Ugandan, I would buy a piece of land in a peaceful place like this. So every weekend I just come here and sit. Yeah. But not in Kona because of the witch Yeah. 
Okay, fellas, something has happened here. I don't even know how to explain. We were stopped by the police. Okay, like a sort of a roadblock. Not really a roadblock, but yeah, traffic police, uh, you know, African style. Just up here, hey, come here. And there was this police, um, very difficult for no reason. He just went on. He says we took a picture of him and we need to show him the camera. And we had to stop. We've been waiting for about an hour and something. He went to the camera, all sides, looking for his face. His face was not in there. And he came to me, he says, like, yeah, you know, he's trying to engage me in a way that will in some way incriminate me. And I avoided him completely. I completely avoided the conversation with him. He asked me to give him a camera. I know old cameras. I mean, I said to him, please ask the person you think took a picture of you. Why are you asking me? He's trying to engage me into me speaking so he can say, oh, you're threatening the police. Uh, it wasn't nice. I'm very glad we have Patricia here. She's, she's a local. She knows how to speak the lingo. Uh, some of our teammates, uh, we have Olivier and Nathan. Uh, they speak Luganda. They're trying to convince the man he wasn't having it. Even the lady working with him, another policewoman, say, I don't understand what's wrong with him. You know, when you're struggling with power, you're trying to impose yourself and show that I'm powerful and I'm going to make sure you know about it. That's exactly what we just lived right now. And he came to me saying, oh, you are actually Nigerian. You know, I haven't even asked you for your, pa for your papers. How about I start asking you for your passport and stuff? I don't want to take it that way. I was like... I'm not engaging with this guy because what he's looking for is trying to make me say something that will put me into a dark light. Then he's going to say, this is what he said to me. It's, it's over now. I'm glad that we're leaving. We're on our way. Finally, he arrested one of our guys, put him in his, you know, car, his van, sitting like a little baby goat. Uh, yeah, we struggled intelligently, but now we're leaving. We're very late. Um, I feel some type of way, but I'm going to try, you know, rise back my energy into the positivity uh, because it's not the first time I experienced something like this. But uh, it's all good, you know, positivity all the time. <laughs> Welcome to Uganda. <laughs> After traveling for about two hours from Kampala, we reached an untarred road. It was a different feel. What a nice feel. So finally, we got to our destination in Kasau, many miles away from Kampala. Remember, the goal was to come and meet this lady that had 36 children, or 44, on the dessus. We are at our destination. We had to ask a couple of questions to people to know exactly where she's located. And we wanted to share a little bit of her experience and understand how she lives. We are here. Uh, the lady's inside. But what needs to be done first is to go inside. Apparently, I need to talk to her. So in some sort of negotiation, you need to have a discussion. Obviously, she won't speak to us for free. So we need to have an arrangement on, oh, yeah, I mean, it's Africa, what do you expect? We need to have a little bit of conversation on how this is going to be. What, what is she getting out of this? Then we're gonna officially bring you with the camera and have a discussion. So we're going. Our lead yeah. brother, the Buddha Buddha guy, he's been very helpful. The lady has been very, very difficult. Uh, there's a lot of disappointment on her behalf. You can feel that many people have been here before. Some have taken advantage of her. Um, some gave her fake money to just shoot. So she's she's not happy. You know, you can see she's she's not happy at all. Uh, measures are quite drastic. We're trying in our best of our ability to meet them, but it's getting dark, and there's no necessarily electricity on this side. So we need to shoot quickly before we get our present to her, or else we will get the present and not be able to shoot. So it's a dilemma right here. Yeah. Okay, finally we're here. In Kasau, like after a, such a long time, I'm so happy to see Mama Mariam with all the children. Hello, Mama. How are you? Ooh, nice to meet you. I'm so happy to see you today. First, I want to say congratulations for being an inspiration. 
kuzala kujagana yeah kuzala kujagana yeah so many babies so many kids um you must be a strong woman to be able to do it how do you manage these kids every day kan so kenne yanjule mm bala musiza mona mm amanya gangenze mali ya mna batanzi mm aba singo obunji gwe bakaza ko mzala bana oba mama yuganda bwe bampite na kuzino mama yuganda ya mama yuganda okay ngambera ku chalo kasawo kasenge mukono district wano wensinzi le sawa za lero okuvera nga mukama yampa abana ana mubana nga nzala abana basatu babiri bana nina muno luza ro lwa batano okay omulondi gumu nembiranga nina abana ana mubana na fisam ko abana anga babiri bando za bali bade basuka mwana mwabana ne yaba mute bakola ke te baliyo ne sigaza nga abala munyina ana mubana balamu balamu bana ana mubana abalamu okay aba babiri basatu bakola ke te baliyo ngabana mumbuziza ambera wo ntya nabo obando za okubala bilira ekyo nja baga mukama katonda ya singo okumanya olwensonga ntinze kitange ya ya mfumbiza nyine emyaka 10 eji 10 ebiri we nyingire dia 13 mukama nampa abana aba basatu abana bano kansoka mbaga ndi bona batata atya omu mbadde wo mukutulunguzibwa antulugunya akugoba dawano dawali kola kino ngo omanye embera yo bo bufumbo binji nyo bien pisemu mu bulamu bwensi ne kyenso ko kusoko kuma naguma ninga abana abana anza abazala sina gwengenda basulira era sina gwengenda bawa nino kuza abana bange ate nino babererawo olwenso nganti nzi mama yande kandi muwere nganyi ne nakwezi mm. safu na chance esoma emyezi o emyaka emye enna kusatu really okay. mama ange nande kawe wa kitange okay. ba step mama bibampisiza yeah. mu byenje yeah. yeah. funyo obutasoma mm. funye embere eno yonayo na je mpsemu olokuba ndi sai na mama nze mm. nansala woni nguma olwa bana mm msaja na na mfubutula na ngoba na makana agatunda ne mpala nensi paka mukadija jawe yangamba atija tubere wano ate mukama na munzi jako msaja wo eh ya ribadde ya ya muchala and why do you think the daddy decided to leave kati munsumu no tata ya mfumbiza makanga gali mwa bakaza aba mm ngandi wa kumeka mm nejukiranze nali mwana muto yeah. mukama nampo kuzala mm. nenzala abana abo mm. ndoza musajja atu sana alabanga yeah. yeah. akoye kuba sijja gamanti yali mwavu mm. kwenda mufumbiro yali mwavu yeah, mukama natu wa sente mm. ni atuko ya soke stela nga chaya gala ya bato okusinga ku miyaka mm. jeje yali mukuba kati yali mu miyaka nga chenda wena mufumbiro yali ne miyaka nga ana muita <laughs> Oshia bulonje. Toza na tukesela na kowa. Na ngamba genda na bana. How is the family of the man um behaved to order? She's given him 44 children after. Nothing. Ndona ina abantu abali bafwa kuvana yali nazala wange ne sezala wanga bazala bazze. Bamula mute bafayo basenga te bafayo. Katola ba family yange yanga mantifire tukinda kula bilo wose twali yakutuma kuzalanga kamiyo. Ate kakati atolo bali bamula ngobo manyi bafanana. Kati bakuyambe chi. Sezala nafa na zala nafa. Eza nembiranga nyino sigala na bana bange. Bomu bwana munigina. Sezija okukamba. Nti. Ebuzu okukanya bana tegese echo okulia. Olwensonga nkola mmere ya lero. Mm. Wote leyo ngaye mujirabye kwa ule buzibanga tokoze. Olusi nokola ye 5, olusi nokola yo mukaga, olusi nokola ye 3, ushira bulungi. Abana bayino okulia, bayino okunywa, bayino soma no gendo otetinkanya, wosanzo olubimbi no lulima, wosaze ngwe yenozoza. Wosinganye buli muli muni ngukola chi, ne ngukola, olusi buchanga simije tugenda kuliya gogema zima. Wabula mukama nankwasize iyo 
Nifuna yo kati chemba afunye chonna kitwa tukola chi ebisere bisinga tunywa buji ne mugula yo kubuwogo gogo ne mulirako ne mulinde chemi sana no fumba akawunga ne bijanjalo no linde chegulo na bamanyiza ekibawo kitukola chi chetulia aha nenga sanja kunyandi buziba oba kuchakulina macha nga nyina plan ti lero ngenda kulia chino na chino so, does she know the names of every kid? One mama way, Yavazala. Yeah. Ida Yeah. Batoma. Mbasina Mwana Gusimani. Or when song and Katimuli Mubono would younger was on Basiram. I will bad duck side the young. No would younger Siva Siram. But it could deniam Yatata. No would younger Bamun by Samania Governor Nigeria. Zina tuma bana bange, no uli langa muri muama nagana, na tuma bana bange, no uli langa muri muama yindi, zin tuma bana bange, ngadja mubuzanyo zin tuma bana bange. Kati si na muana noko, gusmani. Ola ba na ba zokuru vese zara na bom ba mani kuba ba na bo. Eh. So there's Nigerian in here. Yeah, Nigerian. Wow. Oma oma here. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. So, names. two more questions. Mm -hmm. Many people don't believe you know the name of all the children. So now, I want to point to one child. I want you to tell me the name. Uh, hey, what? We're we together. <laughs> we're we we together. That's why. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, Sharif. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, last question. If you could start again, would you want things differently? Or would you be happy to have again 44 children? If God gave you a chance to start again, to be a child again, would you want different or would you want still to have 44 kids? <laughs> Bulu muntu wakula, ayagala kuzala na dalo mchala. Mm. Bwawa subiru kuzala, ganja kuzala bana babili o baba meka. Mm. Bana, mbula muna ringa kala bana msambu. Always. Mm -hmm. Nganziza oba sister wangene, ba blaza, step maza beyata haba. Mm. Oshia bula wangi? Beyata. Haba. Nganzalo wange, no waba zibe bana wameka, msambu. Habana msambu. Eza abana muenda na baza la muzalo meka satu family no njaga la ulwe songa beba mama beba tata beba jaja beba kodi ateba nsanyusa singa nzira yeye mabega nenziro buto njakuba gama nti mukama sivolo kumpanza le adamu ampesi zaidi yeri tia yeri mu wanga njaga la. Si ina mama kuhusi ba na ba na biba mama. Tata wange katubali ntu wali na ita sopo tali yuo biba tata biba wani na zekuba ndi atia bom ba chini sita mbola wenfuna chini tabula na mpita ba na katuwe tudamu janga tuwe pena wenfuna chini chini za katu tu tu sasa songo eh when fun eighteen tabula, yes, and got to the Yakakebe of Sunga Bukulashi, Buguao, a race to put your Nango Yagalachi put to Keko, Songa Mumana Wang, Ungoyagalon Tabule, and Cornela Kumana. We brought the Wang, and then a warm manacle about. Eh? Ninga Tokonya Kumana, a young at the sons of Mumana, a ranchy damn and chick gamba. There's a single moon to a fan as Okia. Nancy, I am a good talk. In Salam come at the one before me, then getting crazy. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Big up, big up, big up. Thank you very much, Musoke. Musoke. Yeah. Musoke, you are 13 years old. 
What? You are 13 years old. Yeah. Wow. You're, you're, you're a strong boy for 13. Uh, I'm very inspired. I think this is amazing. He's happy. You know, these kids are happy. The bottom line, nobody's crying. They're happy. And that's very nice to see. Um, thank you very much for being part of this. I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you for the family. Thank you to the family for uh, opening the door to us. It's such an experience. Yeah, you have to experience this to understand. God bless. <laughs>